disclaimer. The only reason I'm adding this disclaimer is because it's fun to speak like this, but also you should know that I'm significantly tipsy while recording this narration, and also the Pokemon colors in my spread aren't 100% accurate, but I don't give a fuck, I'm not an artist, okay, enjoy the video. Towards the end of last year, I decided that 2022 would be the year of favorites. I had it all planned out. Each month, my bullet journal theme would line up with one of my favorite things, and February's would be what is technically my favorite thing in the universe. Pokemon! It was perfect, because Pokemon Red and Green was first released in Japan on the 27th of February 1996. Yes, people, Pokemon is Pisces. I told you from the very beginning that Pisces is the greatest zodiac sign, but anyway. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Pisces, this month marks my 30th on the 26th of February. At first, I was going to somehow incorporate my own aging into this video, but I'd rather make a life update quote-unquote unaging video once I hit the big 3-0. Today, I want to jump into why I think Pokemon is arguably the greatest franchise that ever existed and will ever exist. But first, I have to explain this spread. The idea is that it's a mix between Pokemon and Valentine's Day. I chose pink Pokemon because the red ones weren't doing it for me. The ones that I chose aren't necessarily favorites, they were just really easy to draw, I think they're adorable, and apart from Mew and Ditto, are ones that I think deserve a little more love, like Flaffy. Yes, Ampharos is cool, but look at it! Flaffy is perfection! Also, towards the end of this video, you'll see me filling some stuff in. That's because I was late in setting February up, and also I figured I'd give you a glimpse of what my bullet journal looks like as it goes. Anyway, these spreads don't require much more explanation than that, so from here on out, I'm going to ignore what's happening on the screen. So without further ado, let me tell you about my Pokemon journey. It begins with a confession. When I first saw Pokemon, in the second grade I believe, which would have been around 1999, I didn't like it. It would air on TV here at about 4pm on weekdays. I noticed it on one day and thought it looked absolutely stupid because I wasn't familiar with anime and thought its style was atrocious. It was the eyes. I just didn't like the way they looked at all, so I ignored it. Skip ahead a few weeks or so and out of boredom, I chose to watch Pokemon. I will never forget that day. It was the episode where Ash fights Sabrina. From the moment I gave it a chance, I was hooked, like I have never been hooked to anything before. Not even Harry Potter, which is saying a lot. This was excellent timing though, because it was right before Pokemania hit South African shores. The Tazos were the hugest deal here, and I fell in love with the franchise just in time to collect them. My first one was an Execute. I still have my Tazos, by the way, most of them at least. Some of them were turned into guitar picks. Even though I was utterly swallowed by this franchise, in retrospect, I experienced very little of it. Sure, the anime was the highlight of my childhood afternoons, and the Tazos were the best thing to me since sliced bread, but that was it. I didn't grow up playing the video or trading card games. In fact, I only played Pokemon for the first time when I was about 16 years old. To this day, the only games I have played are Sapphire, my first one, Ruby, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Half of Heart Gold, a little bit of Platinum, and the first five minutes of Black. I've never read the manga, and I lost touch with the anime about 15 years ago. So why then, and more importantly, how is Pokemon my favorite of all the favorites? Well, there are three reasons. Reason number one is the boring version. Pokemon was never a thing I ever lost interest in or grew out of. But I only realized that Poketube exists, I'd say, in 2019 or thereabouts. Upon discovering it and going down the rabbit hole of the technical side of Pokemon, the strategy, the world building, and living vicariously through Let's Plays, it was as though all the parts of me that missed out on the greater parts of the franchise as a kid were dormant and had finally woken up. The best way that I can explain it is that if I got to play the games as a kid, or collect the cards, or fully immerse into the world, I 100% would have but I never got to because these things were inaccessible. So, it's not that Pokemon ever left me, it's that there's a whole side to it that I only learned existed as an adult, and I want to know all about it for no other reason than it genuinely interests me. Number two is the cheesy version. Pokemon is one of the franchises that absolutely made me who I am today. 
some of my warmest and brightest memories revolve around it, like the weekend spent obsessing over videotaping the Saturday omnibus with my sister, or late summer afternoons riding my bike in the yard singing the Pokemon karaoke song about best friends, pretending that I was on an adventure when really I was just riding in circles because I wasn't allowed to play in the street, or the sheer joy of seeing my mother come home from grocery shopping with bags of chips for us because she knew we were super into the Tazos. Or, not a warm memory, but an important one, 9-11. All I wanted to do was watch Pokemon, but instead I watched people die. That was traumatic. But anyway, reason number three is the most important reason, the most realistic reason, the most controversial reason, and the heel I am willing to die on. It's because Pokemon is, without a doubt, the greatest franchise that has ever existed, and it amazes me that someone actually had the creativity to come up with it. To me, Pokemon is the most immersive world I have ever fallen into. It is different to every other franchise, story, or world for one simple reason. It truly stands alone. Here's what I mean. It's safe to say that every fantasy story out there directly drew from folklore or, eventually, the Lord of the Rings, which in and of itself is a product of folklore. Even Digimon, Pokemon's closest comparison, put a twist on Tamagotchis. But Pokemon has no predecessor. Sure, its creator, Satoshi Tajiri, got the idea because he was an avid bug collector, but I don't mean inspiration. I mean the concept as a whole. Nothing like it existed before it, and nothing could ever be like it. Because in a world full of magic schools and vampire slayers and masked vigilantes and space crews, there is, and always has been, only one Pokémon. So my point still stands. I literally just googled was Pokémon the first of its kind, and for good measure, what came before Pokémon, and do you know what the answer is? Pokémon. It marvels me. It legitimately marvels me. So, it's safe to say that I will never stop loving Pokemon because it's not the sort of thing one can easily grow out of, especially if you're part of the generation that got to experience it when it was new, but I'll elaborate on that in a different video. So, to end off, let me summarize. I love Pokemon because I literally don't know who I am without it, and also because regardless of the criticisms you may have, it is, arguably, perfection. How do I know this? Because there is nothing to compare it to, so it's perfect by default and also because it's the most successful media franchise of all time. No, I don't think you understand. Pokemon is more successful than every single Disney property, including Star Wars and the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. I meant it when I said it's arguably the greatest franchise of them all. This isn't my opinion, it is literally fact. And yeah, maybe one day something will knock it out of the water, but that day is not today. And even if that day comes in my lifetime, it won't change the fact that Pokemon means everything to me and is the world I spend the most time in. So, you can expect a lot more Pokemon content from me, I'm just saying. Anyway, let me know what Pokemon means to you, if anything, and I will see you with another video sometime soon. Bye! <laughs> End disclaimer. You are welcome to disagree with me, but if you come at me with battered bullshit comments or try to tell me that Pokemon is shit because you're the sort of person who washes your bread before you eat it, I swear to fuck I won't engage in nastiness and will delete your comments out of spite because I am not here to justify what I enjoy and I have no time for trolls and you can call that childish if you really want to, I don't give a shit because the wonderful thing about the internet is that you're not entitled to an audience, you can fuck right off in advance and save us both the time instead of wasting it being a shithead. Okay, bye!